The Tree of Life is a fundamental widespread archetype in many of the world's religious and philosophical traditions, and it's featured in ancient Greek, Hindu, Celtic, and Germanic mythologies. They are believed to connect heaven and the underworld, linking all forms of creation. That's a lot to ask from one tree, but when you consider just how big some of these plants get, you can see why the almighty tree is so revered globally. From trees that bend with the wind, to trees so big they defy your every perception. We even have toxic trees that bear apples of death. Here are 15 strange trees you didn't know existed. We just have to pause for our final look at this magnificent forest giant. <laughs> Number 15. The DVDV Tree For snowbirds, the name for people who flee to warmer locations during winter, head to this paradise in the Southern Caribbean. Aruba is a popular destination for obvious reasons, and the DVDV Tree is the most iconic plant locally. It's heavily featured on t-shirts and coffee mugs and has come to represent the stoic, the stoic nature of Aruba's culture. The DVDV tree, called Wadapana in the Arawak language, is an endemic bush in Aruba, Bonaire, and Caraco, the ABC Islands. What is so distinctive about these beautiful ancient plants is the fact that they're permanently bent at nearly a right angle. The DVDV tree's growth is entirely shaped by winds from the northwest and all face the same direction as a result. All DVDV trees point to the west. So it's become a natural compass for locals and tourists and often helps ships at sea orient themselves in bad weather. Aruba's miles of glorious white sand beach, plenty of all-inclusive resorts, which is favored by cruise ship passengers. It's all about sun and fun in Aruba, and you must get some pics for your socials walking amongst these iconic trees. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly! Aww. Number 14. The Tree of Tuli In the heart of Santa Maria del Tuli in Mexico is one of the oldest trees in the world, a famous Montezuma cypress located right in the center of town. And although it's relatively short in comparison with other ancient species, it stands at just over 130 feet, and it's truly unlike any tree you've ever seen. Its existence has been chronicled for more than 2,000 years by both the Aztecs and the Spanish that founded the city of Oaxaca. So, the tree of Tuli is iconic, has become a local spiritual symbol, and a popular place of pilgrimage. And yet, yeah, it's really, really old. Once thought to be so large that it could have only been resulting from a merger between multiple trees, but modern DNA analysis has confirmed that this tree is, in fact, a single individual. Measurements of its circumference, as reported by various sources, vary from 137 feet to over 170 feet. But if you lined up and connected hands, arms outstretched, it would take up to 50 people to encircle it. And can you imagine? This tree is still growing. Our great big tree hug. In its knots and crooks, visitors have found likenesses of human faces, lions, jaguars, elephants, and a bunch of other creatures as well. Number 13. The Angel Oak. At first glance, there's nothing angelic looking about this creepy tree. However, it's still called the Angel Oak. And like something out of a nightmare fairy tale, this native species of Charleston, South Carolina is considered to be one of the oldest trees east of the Mississippi River. It's six stories tall, 28 feet wide, and its crown provides 17,000 square feet of shade. And this angel oak is incredibly durable and strong. Although it suffered some damage by Hurricane Hugo in 1989, it has survived many natural disasters, hurricanes, floods, even earthquakes. And the angel oak shows no signs of slowing down and continues to grow. These trees are native to the lowest parts of the America's coastal Carolinas. Believed to be up to 500 years old, its name comes from the former plantation Angel Estate, owned by Justice Angel and Martha Waite Angel. However, local legends say that the tree is haunted. People claim that the ghosts of former slaves roam the lands around the tree, which has only made visiting them even more popular. But your own imagination goes wild when you see the angel oak. Number 12. The Wawana Tree In 1881, two men, the Scribner brothers, were paid $75, equal to $1,750 in 2021, for the job of cutting a tunnel through the Wawana Tree in Yosemite National Park, California. The giant sequoia was estimated to have been 2,300 years old. 
Construction of the tunnel through the tree was part of an effort by the Park Service to help increase tourism in the age of the automobile. Around the same time frame, the phrase scenic drive was introduced into the national vocabulary and a part of many families' regular routines when they could spend time together. And this tree became hugely popular as a tourist attraction, with many tourists and families photographing going through it or standing in it. But under a heavy load of snow on its crown, this tree collapsed in 1969. When the giant tree fell, there was a major debate about what to do with it, and they ended up leaving it where it went down merely for ecological reasons. Giant sequoias can create vast ecosystems, providing habitat for animals, insects, and allowing new plant growth. It's now known as the Fallen Tree Tunnel since the collapse, but it still serves as a popular tourist attraction. Number 11. Tane Mahuda New Zealand is infamous for its lush, dynamic terrain and unique rainforests. The remote island country is a favorite film site for famous movies like Lord of the Rings and King Kong, but if you want to see a real giant, visit the rainforest of Waipua on New Zealand's North Island. Its name is Tane Mahuda, God of the Forest, and it's a cowrie tree, one of the largest types in the world. The story of how the tree came to be according to the local Maori people is about a legend of God called Skyfather and the Earth Mother Goddess. Their holy union birthed a tree known as Tane Mahuda. These forests have been around about 190 million years, and it's the largest by volume, but not the tallest tree in New Zealand, up to 160 feet tall. Among the most ancient trees in the world, these developed a unique niche in the country's ecosystem. Tane Mahuda, named after the Maori forest god, is the biggest one alive with a girth of 45.2 feet, a trunk height of 58 feet, and a total height of 168 feet with a total volume including the crown of 18,247 cubic feet. They used kaori timber for boat building, carving, and building houses. The gum was used as a fire starter and for chewing. Number 10. The Mancanil Tree This tree is so dangerous the local authorities will paint a red band around them, warning everyone steer clear. The Mancanil Tree is toxic. And even though it grows throughout southern North America, Central America, and the Caribbean, it's often accompanied by cautionary signs and a bright red band painted around its trunk as a warning to all who pass by. And it's easy to confuse it with a common apple tree as the fruit, called the beach apple, and foliage of the plant resemble those of apple trees. It's also been called the Manzanilla de Muerta, or Little Apple of Death, so then there's that. There's no part of the mancanil that is not poisonous, from the fruit and the sap to the stems. So beware, there are few plants around the globe as dangerous as this. Even when it's raining, the drops of water can transfer toxins easily to passerbys. Burning mancanil bark can release poisonous ash to the air, causing irritation, even blindness. The local tribes in the past would use the toxin to poison their arrows and in a really savage move, used to tie captives to the tree for a slow, painful death. This tree lives up to its bad reputation. Number 9. The Sandbox Tree The evergreen tree native to tropical regions of North and South America, including the Amazon jungle. This tree gets its name from the little bowls made from the fruit used to store fine sand and spices. Its smooth brown bark is covered in many dark pointed spines which have led to the nickname Monkey No Climb. Other names include Monkey's Dinner Bell, Monkey's Pistol, and Possum Wood. The fruit looks like little pumpkins, but once they dry into seed capsules, they become like ticking time bombs. They explode with a loud bang and fling their hard, flattened seeds at speeds of up to 150 miles per hour and distances of over 60 feet. The fruit of the sandbox tree is poisonous. The tree sap is said to cause an angry red rash, and it can blind you if it gets in your eyes. But the sandbox tree does have healing powers. Oil extracted from the seeds is a great purgative. The leaves treat eczema, and sandbox extracts can treat intestinal issues. But you should probably not plant one of these trees. It's too dangerous to have around people or animals, and when planted in isolated areas, it's likely to spread. Number 8. The Burmese Tree Maintained since its death by devoted locals who see the tree as a monument to days gone by, this tree stands atop a low stony ridge near the site of the former town of Burmese in Alberta, Canada. Despite being dead since the 70s, it still stands in the same spot it has for the past 700 years. However, death did not deter this local monument. 
It became a landmark in the area and instead of being cleared as deadwood, this tree began being cared for by the locals. And when a storm in 1998 knocked the famous tree over, it was placed back upright and given supports to make sure that it stands strong. Then again in 2004, when someone sawed off one of the tree's long branches, concerned locals glued the branch bark back on. Perhaps people are superstitious about this legendary tree. The town is no more, but that doesn't stop thousands of tourists from stopping to see it every year. It's said that the Burmese tree is the most photographed tree in Canada, and it's also the subject of many paintings, poems, and other artistic expressions. A perfect example of the Crown's Nest Pass. Through all the ups and downs, the spinely Burmese tree nearby stood strong until it died in 1978. Number 7. The Amazing Traveler's Tree This amazing tree is thought to be a natural compass and often a beacon of hope to thirsty travelers. The Traveler's Tree, also called Traveler's Palm, has water that accumulates in its leaf bases and has been used in emergencies drinking water. The leaves are 13 to 16 feet long and each leaf base, shaped like a huge cup, can hold about a quart of rainwater. The large flower clusters contain unusual white blossoms, similar in appearance to the bird of paradise flower. The fan of leaves also tends to grow roughly on an east-west line, providing a crude compass for travelers. And although it's native in Madagascar, they're popular around the world and cultivated in many luxury gardens globally. Madagascar native lemurs and birds seem to be the primary pollinators of this species of tree. All in all, this is one unique plant. Its stunning appearance has made it it's something of a horticultural celebrity and one that can usually find the traveler's palm growing in larger botanical gardens around the world. Though the traveler's palm itself is not endangered, its lemur pollinators certainly are. And the tree has a philosophy that goes like this, mora mora, which means take it easy to the locals. Number 6. World's Oldest Olive Tree Thousands of tourists visit this stunning olive tree every year. Why? Because it's the world's oldest olive tree, that's why. Impressed by its enormous shape and the imposing size of its hollow trunk, but also by the fact that it remains alive and fruitful for 3,000 years. It's a celebrated symbol of immortality in Volves Crete, and the fruits of the olive tree make the best olive oil in the world, making Crete the cradle of olive cultivation globally. The Olive Tree Museum of Volves was opened in a nearby 19th century house so travelers could see the traditional tools and processes used to make the legendary olive oil. Branches from the tree were used to weave wreaths for the winners of the 2004 Athens Olympics and the 2008 Beijing Olympics. The exact age of the tree cannot be determined. Tree ring analysis demonstrated the tree to be at least 2,000 years old, and on the other end of the scale, scientists from the University of Crete have estimated it to be 4,000 years old. Because of the grafting, the process of joining two trees together to grow more healthily, its trunk is beautifully and unusually shaped by nature. Number 5. La Chine Chapelle Located in a small farming village in France, according to local lore, La Chine Chapelle is said to have begun growing 1,000 years ago during the reign of Charlemagne. And locals swear that William the Conqueror prayed at the base of this tree in the 11th century before heading out to battle. While scientists say it's more like 800 years old, it is nonetheless by far the oldest known tree in France. It's lived through Louis XIV, the French Revolution, Napoleon, and incredibly is still standing. This ancient oak tree's hollowed out trunk is now home to two small chapels and reached by a spiral staircase wrapping around the trunk. In the 1600s, the oak tree was struck by lightning, burning right through its center and hollowing out the trunk. The tree survived. So to honor the miracle, they decided they wanted to build a shrine to the Virgin Mary directly into the hollow of the tree. And eventually, a small chapel and a spiral staircase climbing the outside of the tree was added on. Today, the centuries-old tree is showing signs of the ages. Parts of the tree are now dead, and its crown is shrinking. The tree is now supported by internal as well as external poles and cables. Number 4. Jabuti Kaba Tree Try and say that name 10 times fast. It might be easier to say for Brazil's indigenous tribes because the Jabuti Kaba Tree is native to the lush jungles of the country. They're very interesting trees in that they bear fruit on old growth trunks and branches rather than along new growth as in most other fruit trees. And it thrives from sea level to about 3,000 feet in altitude, a slow growing evergreen with fruit available all year. People eat them right off the plant and collect baskets full of the fruit for use in jams and jellies. 
The plant is known for its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties and also contains anti-cancer compounds. So needless to say, this tree is considered a bit of a miracle plant. But why did this tree evolve in this unique way? Why does the fruit grow the way that it does? Believe it or not, but the tree evolved this way to make it easier for animals to eat its fruit, hence speeding up the pollination process. The tree wants the animals to eat its fruit so that they can later poop out the seeds so the parent tree can grow even more of them. Jabuti is the Tupi word for tortoise, while Caba means place. The Brazilian giant tortoise enjoys eating fruits from this tree as much as humans do. Number 3. World's Largest Cashew You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts, because this incredible tree in Brazil has grown to be a whopping two acres in size, that's 91,500 square feet, and the limbs of this tree, which is the size of about 70 regular cashew trees, spread out an incredible 164 feet from the central trunk according to the Guinness World Records and has been recognized as the largest cashew tree in the world. The giant cashew tree is still growing thanks to a couple genetic abnormalities, one being that the branches largely grow sideways and the other bring multiple sets of roots, yet still just one tree, and produces 60,000 pieces of cashew fruit each year. You can also visit it anytime, however, beware of the orange caterpillars, the size of a finger. They're poisonous, and to when the cashew tree was planted, nobody really knows, though there is a theory that it's around 1,000 years old. But unfortunately, the tree is growing at a rate that's starting to breach the garden's exterior. Some pruning of the tree is probably inevitable. It's rooted in a park established for everyone to climb inside the incredible growth. But without some very necessary maintenance, the world's largest cashew tree gets way too big. Number 2. Pando, the Trembling Giant Aspen trees have the ability to produce genetically identical offspring through their root system. This complex linking of identical aspens genetic makeup means that in the fall, all the leaves in one grove will go from green to gold at the same time. This is because the entire grove is really just one massive root system from which many trunks spread out, grow, die, and are replaced by new trunks. But nothing will prepare you for the absolute epicness of this single aspen organism. The largest aspen grove in the world in Utah is named Pando, Latin for I spread out. In total, the grove of aspens called the Trembling Giant covers 106 acres. It sprouted 80,000 years ago from a seed the size of a pepper grain and now supports almost 50,000 trees. It's remained for thousands of years partially because the single organism has been able to supply trees at every stage of the aspen's life and strong enough to endure the challenges of long-term survival. It's also one of the heaviest living things in the world. It's estimated to weigh an incredible 13 million pounds. Now keep in mind, that's one tree that weighs 40 times more than an adult blue whale. Number 1. General Sherman This tree, called General Sherman, is not only the biggest giant sequoia, but it's also the biggest tree in the world. 274.9 feet tall, its girth is 79 feet, the first branch starts only at 130 feet. Locals believe that this tree had reached an age of 2,000 to 3,000 years old and legends exaggerated that by a few thousand years and spoke about the trees being up to 11,000 years old. However, researchers from 2002 have shown that General Sherman is probably only about 2,000 years old. And of course, the tree is a huge draw in California, which is known for its huge forests, soaring mountains, deep canyons, and roaring rivers. Within the borders of Sequoia Kings Canyon, as well as adjacent Giant Sequoia National Monument, the park runs free summer shuttle buses to two separate stops, one above and one below this amazing tree. The General Sherman was named after the American Civil War General Sherman. In 2006, the largest branch on the tree broke off, larger than most tree trunks, with a diameter of over 6.5 feet and a length of over 98 feet. It smashed part of the perimeter fence and smashed a hole in the pavement of the surrounding walkway. Nobody was injured. Those were 15 strange trees you didn't know existed. Thanks for watching.